is an extraordinary honor for me to be able to be here today to pay tribute to these who are the righteous, who by their example of sacrifice and risk to themselves and their families have given the world an example of what true unselfishness really means. I stand here today as a friend of Poland. This is my fifth trip to this beautiful, hospitable, and wonderful nation. I think I speak for many Americans when we have an extraordinary appreciation and admiration for the people of Poland. People who have been under the iron fist of despicable despots who did everything possible to try to destroy the spirit, the hopes, and the future of the proud people of Poland, putting them behind an iron curtain for many years. But their hunger for freedom and for self-government didn't die. It simply was suppressed for a period of time until God raised up that same spirit that was seen by these who were the righteous that we honor here today. I come here today to tell you that I, I see Poland as an oasis of moral and economic stability and sanity in a moral and economic desert through much of the rest of the world. The people of Poland have much to be proud of. And perhaps there's no greater pride than can be taken of those among the righteous who as Christian people risk their very existence to save Jews. I believe God honors them whether we do or not. And his honoring of these that are being given human tribute is far more important than anything that any of us would ever be able to do. When I think of the people of Poland, two words come to mind. One is resistance, because the people of Poland resisted the evil that was put upon them. And when those came to this nation to steal its soul and its sovereignty, and to subjugate them, to a world of hideous evil, the likes of which we have never seen on planet Earth before. There was a resistance, not a compliance, a resistance that permeated through this country and its people in a very significant and historic way. But beyond the resistance, another word comes to mind, resilience. We celebrate the resilience of the Polish people and its culture. I wish I could express it in Polish. I must confess, my Polish is not just a little rough, it's non-existent. But what I cannot say in your language, I will do my very best to say in mine. And that is how much I admire the resilience of the people of this wonderful and great land who have rebuilt their cities and now having built, rebuilt physical buildings like this magnificent facility in which we observe these very special people, I recognize that even more significant than the resilience of rebuilding the structures is the rebuilding of a great economy and a great nation of traditional Christian values which honor the individual, which recognizes the truth of God and his word and unapologetically seek to build a framework for a nation within that context. Surely God smiles upon those who sacrifice themselves for others as you in Poland have done generally, but then those 
who are in front of me tonight do so so very specifically. So I come from the United States in deep appreciation and frankly in awe of what you have done in this country with extraordinary sense of unselfishness to have saved the lives of other people. You deserve our tribute, our appreciation, our deep thanks. And I hope that all the people of Poland share in a sense of great pride in what you have done and in what the people of Poland have done to make this a true shining light on the face of God's earth. I salute you tonight. I thank you. I honor you. And I hope to see you again. Thank you and God bless you.